Hello. Today we're going to take some more questions that come into the QImage Ultimate Tech Support Desk and perhaps we can answer other people's questions by answering these. Our first question is from Paul T. Moore from Maryland and Paul asks, many times at my club they ask me to come in with some images at 800 by 600 so they could run it through the projector and also I need some 800 by 600 when I want to post them to my website so I can show off my pictures without using up a whole lot of space and when I put a vertical image in there for some reason I can't get anything close to 800 by 600 can you show me how to do that yes of course we can Paul it'll work out pretty easily what you probably tried to do was to create your 800 by 600 image using the email downsizing button over here 800 by 600 and that doesn't come out right when you use a vertical image because that's designed to run through email and people to view it on their email client and you've got just so much screen space when you want to do it for uh, taking 800 by 600 images with you to a club meeting for example we go ahead and we put these into the queue by clicking on the plus sign I'll put two of them in there one horizontal and one vertical okay like that and we can right click on this and use virtually the same thing we want to create email web size copies but we get a different box here and this one gives us a little bit more leeway if I click on the 800 by 600 button that's not going to cut it what I need to do is put 800 by 800 type it in in this resolution box QImage will remember it and just click go okay and watch what happens we're processing two of two and we're sending it to a different folder so you can see it easily yes I want to go there and here's the two images we just created now if you look down here again at this lower left corner where the resolution box will be the hot bar and I put my pointer on this first one you'll see that it's 700 by 800 just what you want if we go to this one which is the horizontal one it's 800 by 533 just what you want if we go back to the previous folder where we were and look at the ones that we created the other way this was 525 by 600 and the other one should be right because it's a horizontal image and that one was 800 by 533 the same so one more point to make and that is you can put many images in the queue if you had 25 images you wanted to bring into the club meeting at 800 by 600 you could put 25 in the queue right click say create email web size copies make sure you've got 800 by 800 in here say go and that's all there is to it hope we answered your question Paul and thank you very much for writing in to us okay our next question is from Lance Singh from Michigan Lance wants to know what are those extra buttons for on that uh, thumbnail resize downsize screen okay we can figure that one out with you we'll right click and bring up that screen which is send via email like that and Lance is referring to these two extra buttons the other ones are self-explanatory emailing at 640 or 800 or 1024 and so on but we get to original size don't resize that creates a JPEG of the original size okay let me give you an example now here's a JPEG like that and it has an original size if we look down at the bottom at the hot bar again we can see that the original size on this image cropped was 1743 by 1993 okay now when we say send original size we're saying okay send original size but regardless what kind of a file it is turn it into a JPEG so if I sent this CR2 file or the NEF file it would turn into a JPEG of the exact same size the one that says original files don't convert this sends the original file and any filters that I made with it for example if I sharpened it if I cropped it if I uh, darkened it or made it lighter those filters would go with the original 
so that the person receiving your email with the original files can put it into his queue image and get exactly the same thing you did and be able to adjust it or see how you adjusted it and it's a very very nice handy feature okay I hope that explained it and we thank you very much for writing in also okay our next question is from Sal T Lake from Utah and Sal wants to know if when he crops or uses a print crop in QImage how does how does he go about making another print a few days later with exactly the same crop very good question Sal let's give it a try I'm going to take our friend the cat and put it into a 4 by 6 request okay in other words I am making this I'm requesting a 4 by 6 print so now we have our cat and we see that some of the ear is missing okay we go into our full page editor click here and we can see up in this box the ear is chopped off I can use the mouse hand pull it down and now the ear is inside the picture and we're all good click done and Q image is remembering this okay now I'm going to change this print size from 4 by 6 to 5 by 7 here I've got 5 by 7 I'll just flip him around so he looks a little better to you there's 5 by 7 and again the ear is just about off the edge it's a little less because it's a different aspect ratio but the ear is still a little bit off and I'm going to do the same thing click on this page editor pull the cat down a little bit into the picture say done and now we have the 5 by 7 fixed so the ear is inside the picture now the point of this exercise is that QImage is informing you with this little scissor icon here that you have made a print crop and it's going to remember it for you in each size that you made it so that if you clear this out and you decide later on that you want to make a 4 by 6 and you put the cat back in there's the 4 by 6 scissor telling you that you already made this space here for the cat and if you want to print the duplicate of what you did last week it'll be exactly the same okay so far now we're going to remove this again we're going to change the print size to 8 by 10 and you'll see at this time our friend the cat doesn't need any ear cropping so QImage is not applying it and it wasn't applied in the beginning so everybody's happy with it so that's how you can use the uh, page editor and adjust your print crop like this as you see I've got red bars on either side telling me that I've got movement left and right if I want to but the cat's ears are fine okay and you click done any change I made is reflected by this icon here and you know that a print crop was used QImage will remember them and you have no worry about trying to reproduce it again okay hope you all learned something I know I did thank you very much for listening and we'll get you next time